Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint by Sing Shong Chapter 97 Disaster of Floods Part 1 My heart sank as soon as I looked for Han Suyang's pulse. I was more shocked by the fact that Han Suyang was dead. A bit of time passed before my sense of reason returned. Doc Jessai? Yusenga noticed something and got up. I examined Han Suyang's corpse with Yusenga's help. There are no wounds. The situation was to a standstill. There were no wounds. Then was it a poison? If there was a poison that could kill Han Suyang without leaving any traces, then it was a terrible poison. However, such a poison couldn't be released now. That wasn't the only problem. Why was only Han Suyang poisoned while the rest were safe? Even if there was a person with such a poison, there was no reason to only poison Han Suyang. It was strange that I suddenly feel asleep in the first place. Wait a minute, I fell asleep? Uh, I'm sorry. I slept too much. Shin Yusung finally opened her eyes. I suddenly looked back at Yusenga. Yusenga SSI, did you sleep all night? Yes. Yusenga blushed like she was embarrassed. If Yusenga hadn't woken up, then no one was standing guard yesterday. I was the last lookout and once I fell asleep, everyone was sleeping. I was a fool. My suspicion should have started from why did I sleep, rather than who killed Han Suyang? Was it a sleeping spell? No, only returnee had such magic. Hit a pressure point? They must be able to fool my senses to use it. In the end, there was only one answer remaining. I approached the fire where the bones of the growl I ate yesterday was hanging. This was the only possibility for everyone falling asleep. I cleared up the bones that were eaten cleanly of their flesh and some green powder fell to the ground. It is the stem of the Yanisplita. It was as expected. There was only one reason for this being here. Someone had mixed the plant stem powder into the growl meat. The stem of the Yanisplita had a powerful sleeping effect if not taken with the juices. It wasn't poisonous so it couldn't be resolved with Dongue Bagam. That's why I always boiled it with the juices. Who cooked the growl yesterday? It was Suyang SSI. I inwardly sighed. The meat I ate yesterday was the young growl that Shen Yusung failed to tame. The one who killed the growl was none other than Han Suyang. It was one blow. I approached the pale body of Han Suyang. I was so confused that I had forgotten for a while. An avatar didn't vanish unless the head was destroyed. However, why did she set up this play? She was bound by the temporary pledge and couldn't run away. At that moment, a blue light emerged from Han Suyang's heart. This was... Wait a bit. I didn't care about the reaction of the others and trampled on Han Suyang's head. The blue light burst out and the avatar was destroyed. The character Han Suyang's avatar has received the punishment for violating the contract. The character Han Suyang has offered up her avatar as a sacrifice to offset most of the punishment of the temporary pledge. Ah. Yusenga let out a groan as if she realized something. I had no idea the avatar had such an effect. I had seen it receive damage on behalf of the original, but I didn't know it could take the contract's punishment. It looked like only some of the punishment was offset, but Han Suyang wouldn't die. Shin Yusung asked, that any went away? It seems so. The question of why was meaningless. Once I thought about it, Han Suyang didn't have much to do with me. My constellation support has reduced because I've been with you lately. I would soon meet with the people of Chungmuro and they would be hostile to Han Suyang, just like Yusenga. Che. A person who couldn't be trusted would live in misery. Han Suyang would be alone, surrounded by enemies. For a moment, I mistook her for a companion. There were some coins and a piece of paper in the place where the avatar turned into white powder. The value of the meals. This was how she said goodbye. As if to turn the time we spent together into nothing, her avatar was blown away by the strong winds of Han River. Still, I was curious about why Han Suyang stayed with me for so long, despite being able to use surrogate death through her avatars. 
I didn't know. I couldn't read you saying that, or Han Suyang's mind. Ways of survival, which explained everything, didn't tell me this. We should get up. Then a strange sensation overcame me. Was it omniscient reader's viewpoint? I instinctively looked in the direction that I felt it, but couldn't see anything. Was I mistaken? A fool. Han Suyang looked at the abandoned building from a distant high-rise building. The wind of Han River permeated through her ripped jeans and was cold. She bit her lip and muttered. Shouldn't you pretend to feel something? However, she knew he couldn't do that. It was natural. He was as much a reader as she was. She turned on her notepad and started to type something. It was the habit of an author to write it down when inspiration struck. Reading a book doesn't mean you will understand people. I will see you again. She didn't know the ending that Kim Dokja wanted. However, they would surely meet again as long as they kept moving towards the end. She didn't know if they would be enemies or not the next time they met. Han Suyang covered her smartphone and started walking. The morning hours passed quickly. That afternoon, Shin Yusung's agility and magic power reached the scenario limit of level 60. I felt that it was time and bought the sponsor contract from Baihyung. Baihyung grumbled but still gave me the contract. You do know that this won't change the disaster? The present her isn't directly related to the future disaster. The disaster comes from a world derived from the first world line. Even if their existences are connected, the history, don't speak useless words and give me the contract. I finished writing the contract and handed it to Shin Yu Sung. I have no stigma right now and can't lend you my strength like other constellations. I only have a lot of coins. You don't have to sign the contract if you don't want to. However, you won't regret it if you sign with me. Mother told me not to mess around with this type of stuff. It's okay. I don't really mean to be a typical sponsor. If I sign this, I can't contract with another constellation? Yes. Shin Yusun nodded with determination. Okay. I believe in Ajusi. The sponsor contract has been concluded. You have become the sponsor of the incarnation, Shin Yusun. A brilliant light rose and wrapped around me and Shin Yusun. Unlike the brilliant light, a humble message popped up. You aren't a constellation. You are unable to use most of the functions of a sponsor. List of available functions. 1. Sponsor the incarnation. 2. Encourage the incarnation. Well, I had expected it. This was about it for now. The constellation prisoner of the golden headband scoffs. The constellation secret of plotter congratulates you on your first contract. 5,000 coins have been sponsored. A number of constellations want to be your sponsor. The reactions of the constellations were hot. It was different from the time with Gong Pildu. Shin Yusung was now my direct incarnation. Therefore, the incarnation seekers group were going crazy over me. I wasn't a constellation, I was an incarnation with an incarnation. If they signed a contract with me, Shin Yusung would naturally come under that constellation as well. As I increased my number of incarnations, the number of constellations who wanted me would increase rapidly. The channel is going crazy. Bai Hyung screamed happily as I looked at the party. It is time for us to leave. We will cross Han River. We still haven't found any bridges. Will it be okay? We'll go swimming. Huh? Don't you know how to swim? I do know but, Yusenga looked at the river with concern. I knew what she was worried about. The water levels of Han River had increased. There were more ichthyosaurs present than yesterday and they were intermittently roaring. They were all 7th grade. Shin Yusung muttered, I can't swim. Hold on to this and cross. I pulled out a styrofoam box that I had obtained in advance. I asked Yusenga to connect the box to me using arachne spiderweb. Let's go. I jumped into Han River without hesitation, and Yusenga immediately followed me. Shin Yusung was frightened, but she quickly grabbed the styrofoam box and dipped her feet into the water of Han River. The cold temperature of Han River wrapped around my body. 
There was the smell of strange beasts, and the movements of the ichthyosaurs started to change. Yusenga asked. Is this really okay? Of course it wasn't okay. However, it was the only way, considering the time remaining. If it gets really dangerous, then get out as soon as possible. Yes. That's why you should pretend to be in danger before it is actually dangerous. Huh? It is for Yusung to quickly awaken. I am deliberately creating a crisis. Understood? I pulled the styrofoam box as I started swimming in Han River. This was the reason why I raised Shin Yusung's skill level without worrying. It wasn't shown in the attributes window, but she had an innate ability to adapt. An ordinary girl could never survive until the fifth scenario. Shin Yusung seemed like a good child, but her inner self wasn't that simple. A child who killed her dog, who tricked adults, and who disguised herself to gain favor from the strong. Shin Yusung was such a child. The first time we met, there were many calculations going on inside her head. I spoke to Shin Yusung, who was looking around. Yusung. Why yes. Don't run away. If you run away from here, you can't go back. Shin Yusung closed her slightly open mouth. Shin Yusung was a clever child rather than a brute. Do what you can. Tricks wouldn't work on her. I couldn't protect her just because she was a child. I understand. Fear was fear, fear was determination. The character Shin Yusung has used Advanced Diverse Communication LV3. Killing intent was all around me. The predators seeking prey were increasing. I could see 10 of them above the surface of the water. It was a difficult number to fight all at once. However, I could escape and survive. The ichthyosaurs couldn't chase me the moment I left Han River. Doc Jess S.I. Yusenga called out a warning. The attack of the ichthyosaurs began. Sharp fangs flew from every direction. Blade of Faith is activated. I swung the blade and immediately pierced one ichthyosaur. The serpentine body hit the surface of the water. The ichthyosaurs writhing overturned Han River. I flew in the air along with the river water. Looking back, Shin Yusung had let go of the styrofoam box and was also rising in the air. Something quickly rose into the sky and Yusenga's spiderweb wrapped around Shin Yusung. It was the linked Hermes walking method and Arachne spiderweb. Yusenga retrieved Shin Yusung safely while I stepped on the dead ichthyosaur and started swinging my sword at the approaching ichthyosaurs. This way you bastards. More than a dozen ichthyosaurs swam in my direction. Huge waves rocked the river, and the body of the ichthyosaur I was standing on was in danger. I took a deep breath and adjusted my posture. Way of the wind would allow me to easily handle this crisis, but it wasn't time yet. A juicy. Shin Yusung's face became desperate as she was held in Yusenga's arms. Several fangs aimed at my skin as I wielded the blade. A few ichthyosaurs received mortal blows and fell down. The flowing blood cooled down and this area was becoming more and more crowded. However, I laughed. Become more urgent. Become more anxious. Become more desperate. It was the only way. A terrible injury was created where an ichthyosaur's fans grazed my skin. Blood started to pour from the wound. No. The scream entered my eardrums. The character, Shin Yusung, is about to evolve. Incarnation, Shin Yusung, has entered a trance state. Shin Yusung's eyes were turning white. It was the same as when Lee Gilyoung used his power. It was as I thought. All of this was staged for Shin Yusung's awakening. The character Shin Yusung has used Taming LV9. The level 60 magic power started to spread out through Han River, the aura pouring like a waterfall. The ichthyosaur's momentum slowed. The ichthyosaur shivered and groaned, as if responding to an enormous spirit. The number of ichthyosaurs seen above the surface of the water increased. Previously it was around 10 and now it was more than 20. This meant that below the water, more than twice the number of ichthyosaurs were gathering. Then the ichthyosaurs started looking at me again. The confused ichthyosaurs emitted a sharp killing intent and became more violent. Damn it, was it a failure? 
You sing SSI. It couldn't be helped. It was best to use her stigma to escape quickly. Yusenga nodded, escaped the ichthyosaurs, and released her threads. I called out to Shin Yusung. Yusung. You can stop. Shin Yusung. However, Shin Yusung didn't answer. The waves around Shin Yusung grew stronger, and now her body was covered with a bluish aura. At this moment, a whirlpool occurred in the center of Han River. I couldn't grab onto anything and was swept away by the water. The surrounding ichthyosaur screamed. I barely endured the centrifugal force while hanging onto the scales of an ichthyosaur. The next moment, there was a huge splash of water. Then an ichthyosaur five or six times bigger than the other ichthyosaurs slowly rose. It was so big that it didn't seem like an ichthyosaur. It was much bigger than the Sikh commander that I killed previously. It had a majestic beard and arrogant eyes that dominated its species. All the ichthyosaurs around it bowed their heads to the surface of the water. The fifth grade seawater species, the Queen Mirabad, has been discovered. Shit, she called this monster? I knew Shin Yusung had great talent, but I didn't know it was enough to call a queen. This was a monster comparable to a disaster. I opened up bookmark and was about to invoke Way of the Wind when Yusenga's voice was heard. Doc Jessai? I looked back and found that Shin Yusung's body was floating in the air. She followed the path of the aura that stretched out to Queen Mirabad, and Shin Yusung slowly approached the queen. The queen looked at Shin Yusung, and Shin Yusung looked at the queen. Then Shin Yusung's small hand quietly touched the queen's nose. The river water subsided, and the ichthyosaurs quietly disappeared. I looked over and saw Shin Yusung riding on the queen's head. I now realized what Shin Yusung was. Beast Lord. The ruler of all monsters. The color slowly returned to Shin Yusung's eyes as she watched me. She wiped at her bleeding nose like it was nothing and said, let's go, a juicy. I nodded. Chapter 98. Disaster of Floods. Part 2. I remembered Han Myungo boasting about a private yacht at his Maldives villa. He had said this, the propeller cutting through the water was like a highway on the sea. Now I knew what that feeling was like. If Director Han's boat on the ocean was like the Jiangbu Expressway, then I was currently on the Autobahn. It is really amazing. Yusenga and I rode on the back of the Queen and watched the ripples of Han River with fascination. As if testing her control, Shin Yusung led the Queen straight through the group of ichthyosaurs. Now Han River had become a safe zone and it was preferably to disembark near Yong Sangu. The ichthyosaurs swam after Queen Mirabad like ducklings following their mother. I closed my eyes and felt the cool air against my face. This was a real feeling. It was a luxury I wouldn't have enjoyed if the world had remained the same. Xin Yusung kept mumbling on the Queen's head in order to sink their spirits. Yusenga watched Shin Yusung and spoke with a complicated voice. By the way, Dr. SSI. If Yusung becomes stronger now, then won't her future self be stronger as well? I thought she would ask something like this. I don't think so. According to the original novel, the disaster that would come was the Shin Yusung of the future of different regressions. She was betrayed by Yu Jong Hyuk and abandoned outside the world. She lost her sense of time and wandered the universe. Then she became part of the scenarios due to the Star Stream's blessing, and she became a disaster of past scenarios. Yusenga raised a question. Then why will the future disaster be stopped if the current Yusung dies? If the branch is completely different? Have you heard of the disconnected film theory? No. I watched the water and opened my mouth. Put simply, it is like this. Let's assume that the history of Yusung from the first world is a film. Film, are you talking about the film for movies? I nodded and continued. Assuming that this world is film one, there must be countless films of the other worlds, right? There could be two films, and there could also be 34 films. I see. Is that right? What happens when one of the films, with the front broken, sticks to the back of the first film? For example, what if the ripped 34th film sticks to the back of the first film? What do you think will happen if the film is played? 
Yusenga seemed troubled for a moment. Then the movie would change along the way, ah, uh, wait a minute. The two stories will never affect each other? That's right. Ah. Uh. Yusung is currently in such a situation. The present Yusung is from the first film, while the disaster Yusung is from the 34th film. The two stories are completely independent and any changes in our world can't affect the disaster. Yusenga was truly smart. Still, the question remains. Shouldn't the disaster remain if the current Yusung is killed? The contents of the film don't affect each other, but the two films are connected. Huh? What if the front of the film is set on fire? Yusenga shouted after realizing. The rear film will be on fire as well. The two world lines were connected. If the present Yusung dies, the future Yusung would also die. However, any changes to the present Yusung wouldn't change the future Yusung. That ambiguous paradox was at the heart of this disaster. Doc Jess SI really knows a lot. I've heard of parallel cosmology, but I've never heard such a theory before. I awkwardly nodded. Of course she wouldn't know it. It was a theory that the author of Ways of Survival created. As far as I knew, the laws of Ways of Survival had never been ruined. After a while, the water of Han River calmed down. We finally arrived at the other side of Han River. The queen dropped us off and then disappeared into Han River again. Xin Yusung sighed like all the tension had been released. How was I? Are you really asking? Well done. Yes. Xin Yusung's expression changed. She was pleased at receiving praise. Now there was nobody left to praise the child. Then I felt a fierce hostility coming from the buildings of Yong Sangu. A huge shadow came out from the shadows of the building. A giant praying mantis? The boy on top of the praying mantis looked down at me. Doc Ja Hyung? There were Lee Gil Young wearing a snapback and Han Dong Hoon with headphones. Lee Gil Young slid down the praying mantis and rushed into my arms. Lee Gil Young's snapback fell off his head. It was a reunion after one week. Then a message popped up on my smartphone. It was from Han Dong Hoon. It is good to see you, Hyung. Shouldn't you say it is nice to meet me after a long time? I don't want to. Lee Gil Young and Shin Yu Sung had a war of nerves as soon as they met. Lee Gil Young's hair was moving like it was really an antennae while Shin Yu Sung kept touching her hair. A juicy, that boy keeps glaring at me. Hyung, who is she? It seemed people of a similar type recognized each other. One was a beast master and the other was an insect master. I didn't know if they would fit together. I asked Lee Gil Young, you haven't met Hee Win SSI yet? Yes. However, I know where she is. I sent an insect to look. Hee Won Nuna is currently in the north. As expected from Lee Gil Young. He was already searching for the group members without needing to be told. By the way, the north was where the King of Wanderers was currently located. Maybe Young Hee Won was in contact with her. I knew Hyung was coming. I sent a lot of diving beetles. Speaking of which, the bugs on Lee Gil Young's head had increased. There had definitely only been a cockroach before. Shin Yu Sung frowned like it was disgusting. I checked the power of the party and concluded. It is better to stay here for two days. Raise your skill levels as high as possible and collect coins in your spare time. Take care of your overall stats. Ah, you sang the SSI. Yes. Did you contact your family? Yusenga's face suddenly darkened. It seemed that she hadn't contacted them yet. Dong Hoon. Han Dong Hoon kept his headphones on and nodded silently. Han Dong Hoon had wide area internet as a skill. In other words, it was possible to communicate with the outside world. Yusenga's smartphone rang and there was a message that it was connected to the internet. Yusenga looked down like she doubted her eyes, before staring at me tearfully. I nodded and continued. Please tell your family of this situation. Once this scenario is over, the outside of Seoul will no longer be a safe zone. What will happen? I don't know what will happen. Just tell them to be prepared. 
That is enough for now. Doc GSSI, don't you have to contact anyone? I'm fine. But. My family is in Seoul. Seoul? Then. They are safe. I silently stared towards the north. Then the system message arrived like it had been waiting. Someone has dealt with the disaster of water in the north. The King of Wanderers had finished her work safely. There was only one disaster left. It was the disaster of floods. The bright energy sword made a faint sound as it was raised in the air. It struck dozens of energy blades at once. Blood flowed from Yung Hewen's eyes and scattered through the air. Soon Yung Hewen's sword stopped. I think that's it. Yung Hewen carefully inspected the sword and smiled with satisfaction. The middle-aged woman across from her also smiled faintly. John Wuchi's technique is amazing. Hewen SSI's kendo is also excellent. You will soon have a sponsor and I might not be a match anymore. I'm flattered. Yong Hee Won stared at the woman's blue prison uniform. In the past week, Yong Hee Won had been indebted to them. It was a debt that probably couldn't be repaid with the remaining time. A middle-aged woman asked. Do you really not want to join our new wave group? The king will be delighted if Hee Won SSI joins. I'm sorry but my companions are waiting. Yong Hee Won raised her hands in an apologetic manner. The middle-aged woman just smiled like it couldn't be helped. The woman already knew who the members of Young Hewen's party were. I hope he knows that Hewen SSI is this desperate. He knows. Young Hewen looked at the sky with a slightly disgruntled expression. Somehow, I think he is watching me right now. This was why I didn't want her knowing about omniscient reader's viewpoint. In any case, Young Hewen seemed to be growing well. I was worried since her character hadn't seen the light in the original book, but I was glad my choice was correct. Then I watched someone else using omniscient reader's viewpoint. Unfortunately, there weren't many visible points to determine the person's identity. Um? What was this? A familiar face soon appeared on the screen. It was me? Wait. These people? Hey, you. Lee Gil Young spoke in a ferocious voice. Stay away from Hyung. Then Shin Yu Sung, who was lying next to me, replied, What if I don't want to? This mongrel. Don't talk to me, you worm bastard. Lee Gil Young was stunned. The cockroach and other bugs moved wildly on his head. Lee Gil Young barely regained his composure. Hyung hates kids like you. I know who a juicy likes. You know who Hyung likes? Who? An Uni. Lee Gil Young laughed. Uni? I think you are misinformed. Hyung likes a man. How do you know? I've been with Hyung for a long time. I barely managed to wake up as the terrible conversation began. I hurriedly looked around and saw Lee Gil Young and Shin Yu Sung sleeping with their heads leaning on something. Did I see wrongly? Was it just a dream? Doc SSI, what's wrong? I shook my head at Yusenga's question. It must be a dream. I was just lying back down when I heard a whisper from somewhere. Hey, bug. Come to think of it, you hugged a juicy earlier? Are you a baby? Do you like old people? It wasn't a dream. Excuse me, aren't you sleeping? Yusenga warned. Then the surroundings became silent and the children's snoring started soon afterwards. Two days flew by in a flash. The subscenario, survival activities has ended. Everyone heard the system message as they woke up and got ready. It was a long but short scenario. Then a message from Baihyang arrived. 9421. It was a number. Baihyang spoke again. 9,513. What? Don't you understand? 9,611. I noticed right away what the number was. At that time, I made a 10,000 promise. The constellations who love the Korean peninsula are nervous about the number of subscribers left. I asked Baihyung, did you do what I told you? I did, but I don't know if it will be any good. 
In any case, I wish you luck. 9781. The swirling great hall in the sky showed an unusual omen. There was a thunderstorm and the intermittent sound of thunder was heard. Then an intermediate dakibi appeared in the air. Everyone, you have been waiting a long time. The intermediate dakibi looked gaunt. He had probably been suffering from the bureau. Did you enjoy the survival activities? The scenario that you have been waiting for will finally begin. There were some disruptions, but, yes, well. It will be a fun scenario to look forward to. He looked at me and the incarnations and continued speaking in a disgruntled tone. You have stopped four of the five disasters. I fully acknowledge your accomplishments. But do you know? The other four were just child's play compared to the last disaster. The faces of the people became tense. In fact, he was right. None of the other disasters could compare to the disaster of floods. Depending on the success of this scenario, everything that you have done so far might go away and everything will be over. Frankly, the odds of that happening are over 90%. Fortunately, there are those who commiserate with you. I formed tight fists. It was finally starting. The last event before the fifth scenario started. Then, from now on I will start the second sponsor selection. Chapter 99 Disaster of Floods Part 3 There were bright lights in the sky that shot all over Seoul. Some lights went to the north, while some went to the west. However, the width of the scattering wasn't large. Most of the lights were gathered in central Seoul. It was evidence of where the incarnations were gathering to prepare for the scenario. Finally a contract. I will also have a contract. The incarnations waiting in the area cried out enthusiastically. I wasn't the only incarnation who survived this far without a sponsor. Soon little stars emerged over the heads of the incarnations without a contract. The number of stars represented the number of constellations who wanted the incarnation. Sponsor Selection Please select your sponsor. Your chosen sponsor will be your strong supporter. Perhaps by now, all the unsigned incarnations would be seeing the same thing I was. Of course, mine was probably a bit different. 1. Prisoner of the Golden Headband 2. Abyssal Black Flame Dragon 3. Secret of Plotter as expected, there was the prisoner of the golden headband and the secret of plotter. I felt sorry to keep rejecting them, but it couldn't be helped. This abyssal black flame dragon was here again. He had Han Suyong, so why did he keep coming to me? 4. C-O-A-E-I-L Pill 5. Bald General of Justice 6. King Hun with the Great The great people of the Korean Peninsula also lined up. C-O-A-E-I-L pill was probably Ryu Songryong. Ah, our Samyangdang also came. In addition, there was the fox, Kim Yushin. Did he think I would really choose him? The list continued. 21. Goryeo's First Sword. 22. God of Wine and Ecstasy. Anyone who was called Korea's best swordsman could be Goryeo's first sword. Then there was Dionysus. Olympus had also stepped into the race for Kim Dokja. I felt a bit confused as the list continued. It was because unexpected constellations kept appearing. 48. Black Light of Guidance 49. Scribe of Heaven 50. Ruler of Revenge and the Apocalypse I didn't remember all the modifiers so I only had dim memories of Black Light of Guidance and Ruler of Revenge and the Apocalypse. However, I was certain about Scribe of Heaven. That guy, he was a powerful constellation of the absolute good system. The Archangel Metatron. Based on angelic authority, this guy was ranked much higher than Uriel. This was the second heavenly being. Damn it, what type of constellations were watching me? The hundreds of stars above my head formed a magnificent spectacle. It was a brilliance that seemed like it would light up all darkness near it. Some incarnations stared this way with soulless expressions. That. What is that person? Shin Yusung stared above my head in a blank manner and muttered, A juicy, you are like a Christmas tree. 
The constellations who love the Korean peninsula want you to keep your promise. A number of constellations want to see your faith. In the end, it came. I take a deep breath and call to Baihyung. Baihyung. What? How many are there now? I had made a promise to the constellations when fighting off Doc Gak. If the number of subscribers to the channel reached 10,000 before the sponsor selection ended, I would choose a sponsor. 9,812, no, 14. 16. The number of constellations continued to rise. Bai Hyang's tone became tense. There are three minutes left to complete the sponsor selection. Now the result would be determined in three minutes. The constellation Bald General of Justice is looking nervously at you. Unfortunately, there was no point looking at me desperately. There are two minutes left to complete the sponsor selection. The constellation Bald General of Justice has sponsored you 200 coins. The constellation COAEIL Pill has sponsored you 300 coins. The constellation King Hung with the Great has sponsored you 300 coins. The sponsorship competition was finally starting. It was a natural choice for the constellations if they wanted to stand out. Some great constellations above narrative grade constellations are clicking their tongues. The constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband has sponsored you 5,000 coins. This was the exact development I hoped for. Good, good. Give me more money. The constellation Scribe of Heaven has sponsored you 30,000 coins. As expected of Metatron. It was an entirely different class. It should be obvious since he was a Chancellor of Heaven. The constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband is looking at the Scribe of Heaven. There is one minute left to complete the sponsor selection. I asked Bai Hyung. How many now? 9, 973. 76, 77. It had finally reached a breathtaking level. 9, 981. 84. 30 seconds left. 9,993. 20 seconds. 9,998. A few constellations are holding their breaths. 10 seconds. 9, 999. 5 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds. The sponsor selection has ended. Then I let out a light sigh. I gazed at Bai Hyung, who opened his mouth with a smile. I'm really sorry everyone. Many constellations think it is ridiculous. There was no use in yelling. Current number of subscribers, 9,999. The screen that floated next to Bai Hyung showed reality. Some incarnations saw it and their mouths dropped open. Shin Yu Sung asked, A juicy, are you a star on YouTube? Maybe it was similar. I spoke in a shameless voice towards the sky. It is too bad. I would have selected a sponsor if there were 10,000 constellations. Many constellations wonder who you would have chosen. Then Bai Hyung intervened. This information can't be revealed to protect the privacy of the incarnation. Well done Bai Hyung. A number of constellations are rioting. The sky above Yongsangu distorted and lightning started to fall towards the innocent people. Sparks filled the air. The Dakibi's power to influence probability could also block the constellation's wrath. Now now, all constellations. Please calm down. Unfortunately, the event had to be cancelled because we are lacking one person. Then Bai Hyung glanced at me and continued. As an apology, I will create a compensation event. The lightning temporarily stopped. Perhaps you are thinking this? Shit, what should I do if it continues like this? Many constellations are listening to the Dakibi Bai Hyung's words. I understand your thoughts. So. I will punish the incarnation who didn't choose anyone in the second sponsor selection. However, I will only do this if the constellations are in favor of it. Many constellations are in favor of the Dakibi Bai Hyung's words. Bai Hyung nodded with satisfaction. Shin Yu Sung stared at me with a dumbfounded expression. What is happening? Don't be upset by the events unfolding. Ajushi, why didn't you choose a sponsor? 
well, it isn't time yet. Honestly, I was a bit shaken when I saw Metatron, but if I chose someone here, everything I had done would be in vain. I couldn't enter under anyone else. This was the only way. You sang to SSI. Take the kids and hide. Do you have an idea? Of course. Never come out unless I signal to you. A new bounty scenario has arrived. You have become the target of the bounty scenario. As expected, the bounty scenario began. Plus. Bounty scenario, punishment, category, bounty. Difficulty, A. Clear conditions, brutally kill the incarnation, Kim Dokja. The more brutal his death, the more coins you can receive. Time limit, 20 minutes. Compensation, 40,000? Coins. Failure. Plus. Anyone who saw it would think I was the fifth disaster. It was 40,000 coins to kill one person. Shin Yusung paled when she received the scenario. A juicy? Yusenga grabbed Shin Yusung, who was reaching for me and retreated. At almost the same time, the incarnations in the area discovered me and started to flock. There was the target mark floating above my head. Crazy. 40,000 coins? Hey, get that fucker. Many constellations are enjoying the development of the scenario. The constellations angry at my choice loved the way I was being chased like a rodent. Everybody had forgotten something about the 10,000 event. Yes, this was the nature of constellations. Bai Hyung glanced at me and communicated with a nasty expression. I didn't realize it would turn out like this. I knew. I used to do this when working at the game company. The only way to appease angry users was to open a new event. Bai Hyung shivered and murmured. Is this okay? If it is noticed. I really will receive a probability conformity request this time. In fact, it was an obvious channel manipulation that the number of subscribers didn't break through 9,999. It was because from the beginning, Bai Hyung's hashtag BI7623 channel only accommodated 9,999 viewers. I wouldn't be able to escape if someone like Doc Gak provoked a fight. Fortunately, there was no one like that present. The low-grade Dakibis had been on guard since the last incident. I decided to take the chance. It was still a dangerous method. There was no doubt that some smart constellations would doubt this. The number stopped exactly at 9,999. This defied coincidence. Thus, an event to shift the attention of the constellations was needed. The constellations hated annoying things and were vulnerable to fun. I used the current punishment event to take advantage of that. Bai Hyung opened his mouth and spoke to everyone. Constellations, please note that the incarnation, Kim Dokja, can receive a penalty if coins are sponsored. The moment he spoke, my body suddenly became heavy. A selfish Constellations has given you a speed penalty. 500 coins have been sponsored. The more coins I received, the more penalties that would be inflicted on me. The incarnations, who normally never would have been able to follow me, were right on my tail. Everyone seems blinded by the coins. Right? I smiled and wielded Blade of Faith. You a... Uh, a constellation who wants your misfortune has given you an attack penalty. 500 coins have been sponsored. My attack power was halved and the incarnations didn't die. I was actually glad about this. I didn't want to kill them. A constellation who wants your death has given you an defense penalty. 500 coins have been sponsored. The fucking sponsorship. A dagger flew from somewhere and hit my arm, causing terrible pain. My arm would have been cut off if it wasn't for the infinite dimension space coat. A few constellations feel sorry for your adversity. There were also constellations who supported me. Thank you for your tears. I grabbed my injured arm and ran to the southwest of Yongsangu. If I was right, the meteorite where the disaster of floods slept was in that direction. The energy of the meteorite showed it was close to hatching. Bai Hyung. What the hell is this? What's the matter? 
It is simple entertainment before we enter the game. Another Dakibi's voice was suddenly heard. Now Bai Hyung was speaking in a strong manner. It was a sharp contrast to my heavy body. Just a bit more. A river finally appeared. Hold it. I barely managed to escape from the clutches of other people and plunged into Han River. The other incarnations knew what was in Han River and couldn't easily follow me. This crazy guy. The seventh grade ichthyosaurs swarmed like they had been waiting. They wanted to make my feeble self their food. Many constellations are filled with joy. I had a thought as I watched the ichthyosaurs. I didn't have any talent. No matter how hard I trained, I wouldn't become as skilled as I wanted. However, I didn't want to use that as an excuse to say I was weak. The exclusive skill bookmark can now be activated. The way that I could become stronger was different from other people. Character bookmarks is activated. Available bookmark slots, 4. Bringing up the list of available bookmarks. I will release Demagogue Cheon Inho from the third slot and add Beast Tamer Shin Yu Sung. The number 3 bookmark has been activated. A bright light surrounded my body and the smell of the monsters changed. Some smells were friendly while some were filled with hostility. I realized that there was a world I didn't know. After all, it was sensitivity to the world that determined how a person read it. The level of the bookmark skill is low, shortening the activation time. Activation time, 30 minutes. Your understanding of the character is significant. You can select some of her skills to import. One of the far-off ichthyosaurs synced with me, and complex circuits were forming in my head. Advanced Diverse Communication LV3 has been activated. Taming LV9 has been activated. Blood flowed from my nose. This was how the kids always felt. I slowly opened my mouth, come, Queen Mirabad. 